Yeah, that's right. Zarista. Whoever said Marvel fans and DC fans can't agree on anything. Um, Zinabatos is a major pain in the ass. Oh, boy. Um, do I go to the cities in the order that she told me so Zinabatos would be second? Burp. Oh, Dart, darling, are you going outside? Everybody left a little while ago. So let me go. Can't carry any more items, so it can't be that important. Okay, so the second to the last city is going to be the pain in the butt. Uh, I'll bring it on. Magic City. Oh, there's a repeatable item in Magical City that I want to do right because I don't want to miss that. <laughs> well, I think um, anything called Death City is probably not going to be a joyous place. <laughs> so the fact that it's sad because of plot reasons. Yeah, sounds about right. Now our way is open, Shauna. I'll be there soon. Just checking to see if you're a child I need to kill. Rose, have you noticed that there's different music playing? I've never heard this before. You really forgive? Don't say anything. It's already in the past. Only by like 17 years. It's been 17 years since she's killed a kid, so she's probably got the itch in her. Take your sword. It's like Star Wars. Wait, are we crossing swords now? Just like her and my dad did? Weird. You've become strong. You can take care of yourself. Yeah, duh. Kill me. <laughs> what? Jeez, bros. Why? The black monster is dead now. We only have the slightly violet monster. A companion who is on the same road. I miss the time when you were chased by Finn Faberhand in the forest. You remember? The beginning of the game, 48 hours ago. Me too. And I didn't know anything back then. The world is so frail. The world is created so that it can perish at any time. The creator so it can recreate one any time. Uh, so you can't use any time two words and then any time one word that close together. You're going to confuse your reader, Rose. Get it together. But the people living here can't accept it, believing it as fate or struggle against it. I struggled in order to protect this world that was taken back by friends who gave up their lives. Except for one who's still totally alive. I told you. You are no longer alone, Rose. Take the choker off, see what happens. Dart. Let's go see everybody. This is just the beginning. B -b -b -on Exposition City. We know what we're supposed to do. We know who we're supposed to kill. We know how we're supposed to kill him. I think we're good. Let's go to the end. I think that's where everybody might be. But it's not this way. The end was at the beginning. That's the weapon shop. Where's 
the end. Is it this teleporter? I think so. Yup. It's not true. The reason why I hate roses is because I see my mother and roses. Roses are red, violets are dead. My mother never looked at me directly. It's as if she was hiding something from me. And she'd beat me up. This really seems forced. I didn't know what was going on and why she was doing it to me. But I remember at least one thing. There were always roses on the shelf behind my mother. Why did your mother leave you? Sorry. Let's not talk about me anymore. It spoils our drinks. I don't think so. It's okay to be this way. Life is not always happy. I beat my daughter too. Listening to your story reminds me of my past. About your runaway daughter, right? You're so sharp that it hurts. I hate being roundabout. Well, no one's ever accused Miranda of being roundabout. Oh, you guys are here. When are we leaving? Hashel has been drinking too much since he, we, since he heard we are going to Rogue. That's right. Drink a little more and let's leave for Rogue. At once. Of course, to save the world. Give me a drink too. May I join? I wanted to talk about you, Miranda. <laughs> Same here. Look at us, we're all friends. Shall we go? Where's everybody else? Where's my peeps? Uh, the spell of eternal the spell of eternity okay the spell of eternity indeed creates a mortal body but also corrodes the heart you're aren't you just an innkeeper jeez man where is everybody <gasps> Miru! You're adorable! Hey, Dart, I was telling Karen about my forest. It's totally fun! That's right. Karen and the others have been in the city forever. Exactly! So I'm telling her all about the latest fashions outside. Like my barely there armor. It seems you heard about everything from Charlie. Where are the other people? I don't know. I think they're around there. But Art, you meet your other friends, otherwise you cannot go forward, can you? It's called an invisible wall. When you meet everybody, come again, and I'll open the next way. Well, I met Miru. They're out and about, so look around. Okay. Look around. Look around. Jump up, jump up, and get down. Who's here? Some ah, uh, no one's by the Mario plants. Let's go check the weapon shop. Nope, not that way. I'm missing Congo and Albert, and that's it, right? Yeah, because Shauna's a moon child getting ready to destroy the whole world. Have I pointed out the fact that moon child is the name that Sebastian gives um, the princess in Never Ending Story? Have I pointed that out? If I haven't, it seems like a pretty uh, big miss, swinging a miss on my part. Hey, Albert and Congle! So, we are leaving in the morning. Yes, we are. What are you doing here? 
We don't know what will happen in ancient city of Wingley's. We need strong weapon. Congo do burpee. Congo become strong. Congo doesn't care about leader of creatures. Congo goes with you to the end. See why sometimes he has, sometimes he uses articles, sometimes he doesn't. For me too, it is no longer the mere problem of the moon gem that they took from me when I was nude. I can't not I cannot ignore this crisis of the world. You didn't imagine we wouldn't go with you, did you? I didn't. Hurry up if you want to buy humans and Giganto. Your time is limited. It's nine o'clock and the store's closed. Get out! So that should be everybody. Just real quick save. It's the JRPG or in me. Down. Down, down. This should be everybody, right? Hey, buddies. Karen was telling me about the teleporting device. It's not like back home. And when are we going? We're already... We already heard lots about it from Charlie, and we found out where we should go. You were coming too? Of course. I'm the strongest character. Without me, the strongest of all... Whoa! Nailed it! You cannot save the world. Besides, I learn a lot following Dart. Everybody's the same. Gigantos, humans, and winglies. Well, oh, come on. We can celebrate our differences. You can't just say we're all the same. And I can't stand the destruction of a world where everybody lives. I think for the first time, I agree with Miru. Is this the first time? Are you going through what we call a character arc? Leave here tomorrow morning. By that time, I'll be prepared and can send you on the way that goes to the home of the Gigantos from here. We can travel that far instantly. Then we might as well go directly to Rogue. Our power is becoming weaker by the day. That is our maximum power. I understand. Take a boat to Rogue. It should have been prepared from the twin in the Twin Castle a short while ago. Sorry, my mistake. Was there a dog in that castle? I asked King Zuar and had him make one especially. I'm surprised that he listened to a wingly. There are no humans or winglies when it comes to the end of the world. You don't need to thank us. Now is not too much to say that the mission at the city is to send you off. Whoa! The games are coming on with the bits. Thank you. Um, you must have heard me talking about you earlier. Uh, I was complimenting DC comic books and showing off my little comic books that I just got here recently. Um, so yeah. Welcome in. Yes, and this is one way. The city you've been looking for after the world. I don't think I read that right. Let's go back to Charlie. She must have prepared the bedrooms for us. No ends for us. Uh, yeah, her and I were having a good conversation. And we were on the same wavelength. Uh, evil speak? What's that? Um, why did it... Take my good characters out and give me... There are no bad characters in this game, but there are definitely characters that are better than others. Don't put that weak sauce hashel in my party. Can't have it. Uh, we were talking a little bit about the new Batman trailer that got released. It's a Clint Howard flick where he uses an apple II to summon the devil for revenge. <laughs> well, that sounds cool. 
Um, I have to admit, a lot of the old, old computer and old like anything before Atari, uh, my knowledge basically comes from like Ready Player One and uh, the One Show, Big Bang Theory. Whoa! Look at all these flying beings. Hold on, I'm gonna come back to that. I promise. Charlie, what is this? Oh, naive boy. Don't you understand? It's a send-off for great heroes. You shouldn't have. Uh, who's Miata? Don't be shy. Rosie, honey. Rose! You have been doing really great. Since the soul of the Virage embryo, the god of destruction, was released, you have been saved. You have saved the world. Let me see. At least a hundred and seven times by murdering a hundred and seven babies. Really? Even after even being called a black monster? Stop it. The monster has died. Ziggy is serious, and he is everything to give birth to the god of destruction that I totally gave him. Only the dragoons can stop him. I'm gonna go kill my dad. I wonder what creator so was thinking. Like destruction or regeneration. I wonder why it wants us to go through such a painful thingy. I say thingy and then things with why because I feel like it's adorable. We will change fate. Everybody must survive, okay? Now go. Zeke won't wait for us. Right. Zip. Uh, let's see. I'll be honest. I'll see the picture because Batman. Yes. Um, but I hate Pattinson's Wayne. Yes. That is the differentiation that I am seeing. Um, I think image wise and just the um, the like outright hostility and anger he shows as Batman is cool. I think it looks interesting. Um, Bruce Wayne, however, not as cool. You immediately want to punch them? Uh, from a long line of people, probably from Harry Potter on, have said that about Robert Pattinson. Um, he looked as okay as the bet, I guess, and I do love Long Halloween. Uh, let me nail this real quick. Nailed it. Oh, yes, time honored JRP tradition. Just gotta go kill a god. Um, whole world is at threat. Let's send a bunch of teenagers at it. <laughs> the haircut was a real bad call. Um, the haircut and apparently his refusal to um, work out or exercise in any way. He was like, well, you don't have to work out and exercise to be Batman. I was like, wow. Batman is just a human, but he's at like peak human physical condition. Whoa! We just Dark Souls this thing! Home of Gigantos. You remember farming XP here? It was linked to here. Totally crazy, right? It's been a while. Karen and Gigantos were pals for a long time. Of course it was when there were still some Gigantos left. In fact, they were such good friends that they let their whole entire species be wiped out. There were nice winglies like Charlie. Aw, look how she dangles her feet. Miru, you just don't ever stop being adorable. They weren't the brutal people unlike the legend tells. I know that now. I've known a wingly for like 15 minutes. We have to rewrite the book on the National Library. Yes, correct. Knowledge brings correct conduct. 
No more fake news. That's after this journey has ended. Let's go, King Z. <laughs> Let's go see King Zwar and have the Heather Row and the Queen Fury. I was kind of hoping it was going to lead me to this because I got to be honest with you, I don't remember exactly where everything is. Um, yeah, Keaton pulled it off, but he's no Keaton. And also, uh, the Tim Burton Batman movies had like a totally complete and, um, completely different feel to them where it was more comic booky as opposed to trying to go for the realistic look like the other Batman is. So this has been a uh, super awesome. Uh, I've gotten to talk writing with Dragon Ling Dar. I've gotten to talk comic books with the uh, games are and the games arista. You remember me, piggies? I've got Ultimate Editions now. <laughs> Being a general uh, moniker for all things. Agreed. Have not seen Dune. Uh, we were out of town last weekend. Uh, this weekend, we've got family coming in. And then next weekend, I'm working. So, there is a good possibility... That I've, I've got that whole uh, one of those deals where I got a 10 day work week, stretch of work week, which um, kind of sucks. So maybe on one of those nights where I just kind of need to shut down for a night, we might check out Dune. I had a guy at work talking to me about Dune and was into it. He really liked it. I've got to go through the Valley of Corrupted Gravity... Um, you enjoyed it. Good. We can stream it, right? I believe that is the case. If I have to go to a theater, I probably won't see it. Until it, I can stream it. But I, I believe I can stream it. Yes, okay. Oh, see, it is like riding a bike. I was here 20 hours ago. I still haven't gotten that chest. Ah, shoot. Ah, shoot. Give me... Ah. Uh, your Astros are in the World Series. That's another thing that's happening, too. Is this the right way? I think it is. Look at that. I've got a memory like a fox. Uh, don't say that and then immediately go the wrong way because that'll be embarrassing. Now it's like I set the over under for missed editions at nine and a half and having to kill like three little dudes that I could one shot with just about anything makes me nervous. But I've only got what time is it? I've only got 30 minutes left in the stream. I think I can do it. So far, so good. My wife being a Dave Batista and Jason Momoa fan. And probably a Timothy, Timothy Chalamet fan that she doesn't even realize that she is yet. Uh, is probably going to thoroughly enjoy Dune. Not my fault. Miru, Miru, Miru. Please let it be Miru's turn. I have a character in my book, and when I picture the character in my book, I picture Timothy Chalamet. Am I saying that right? Chalamet? I don't know. I've read it, his name a bunch of times. I don't know if I've ever said it out loud. Oh, I did go the wrong way. I was talking so much trash. 
Come back to me. He had to grow on you. I bet you my wife would really like to tell me how I grew on her. Uh, no, shoot! Ah! Son of a gun! Never read the books, but I saw the David Lynch one. And was so confused. I'm coming to you. My opinion on this one is that for someone who doesn't know the whole backstory and did an excellent job explaining the universe and setting the groundwork for the rest of the story. Is it a two-parter? Um, I only have one fan casting for my novel, and that's my Dracula being Angelina Jolie. Ah, oh, Angelina Jolie can be my Dracula. Dracula! I don't know why I just went uh, Rob Zombie on you, but it happened. Um, <laughs> that would be, I'm fine with that. I like Angelina Jolie. I'm pretty excited to see the Eternals with Miss Jolie. And I'm not a real big Eternals fan when it comes to the Marvel comics, so... I feel like they had to do something. Can't pretend they don't exist. Not any longer. Whew! I talked through that whole Blossom Storm and I still nailed it. Uh, I remember reading Anne Rice saying that she pictured Rutger Hour as her head when she wrote Interview. Oh. Rutger Hour is in one of my favorite movies. Um, I have a commission of Dracula, and it's literally one of my favorite pieces of art. My Dracula is an asshole cat. <laughs> uh, games are, I've, I've only heard good things about Shang-Chi. I have not seen it yet. Um, because I just, I, I don't want to, I don't want to go to the theaters to see stuff. But... Uh, my favorite Rutger Hour movie is, um, or one of my favorite movies, Rutger Hour just happens to be in it, is Lady Hawk. Big fan. Big fan. Matthew Broderick and Michelle Pfeiffer. And some sweet, sweet 80 synth music. The mouse, he's left the house. Flesh and Blood, I don't think I've seen that. Jennifer Jason Lee. He was in a game not that long ago where um, I think it was called, is it called Observer? Two games came out at the same time, one with Rutger Hauer being uh, cyberpunk noir game and another one being um in a spaceship as you're controlling the ai watching other people one of them was called observer and i can't remember which one it was <laughs> but anyways the cyberpunk noir one i really think that they cast rutger hour and they just said hey man just be you however rutger hour would read this line that's how i want you to read it and it was Pretty dang good. Oh, geez. Now I need to look it up. Hold on. Time out. Time out. Cyber. I'm going to type in cyberpunk and all that's going to come up is cyberpunk. Cyberpunk game with Rud Rutger Hour. Observer. Oh. I hate being 100% right 100% of the time, um, but it was Observer. The alien, now that I saw it, the alien spaceship game is Observation. So you could see why I would be confused. And they came out months apart from each other. 
But if you've not watched a playthrough of that game, um, or played it yourself, I recommend it. Because it's pretty cool. Especially if you like Cyberpunk. And Rutger Hour. But I think it was one of the last things he did before he passed away, too. Passed away as well. Hey, it's the Barons, Dragonling. You remember this place? I don't want to, if I start missing that third one, I'm going to be missing it all night. <laughs> right now, I'm not really feeling the Barons since I just missed an edition. I challenged myself by giving me an over-under. And so I really... I, don't, I really don't want to fail. You just like the enemies and the aesthetic? Right now I'm not happy that I'm fighting all these little guys backtracking. Addition wise. I'm just not going to think about it. Just kick butt and take names. <laughs> I thought I missed that last hit, but I could not tell. Oh no. I don't know why I was worried. That fight was perfect. I am going the right way, right? Yeah, because she said she prepared a boat for me. I had to go see King Zuar. This is in this place. Yes! Perfect! Hey! Thanks, Kizmexi. For nailing it. Just like I've been nailing it all night. I don't want to jinx myself, but I've been going for almost two hours and I've only missed four editions. Yes, you can point out that it's been an exhibition, ex, exposition heavy episode, but does not change the fact. Oh, long time no see folks. You're free to come in and go as you wish. Oh yeah, it was a, he's... The really terrible guard. Who just lets people into the castle all the time. This is where Albert's lady friend is. Dart, I've been waiting for you. What is this? We are seeing you off. We received a messenger from Charlie. Her name was Karen. Everything is ready for you to go into Rogue. The world must not be destroyed. Even if it was the intention of the Creator, we still alive and living. I beg of you, please save the world. Just like I saved my daughter, Commodore Bueller is waiting for you in the basement. Ugh. Don't be sending me to the basement, man. To carry our hope. I'm gonna safety save. So long. Are they not gonna let me safety save? Ouch. Ouch, JRPG. Oh, there we go. Okay, I was gonna say that would... That would hit me right in my chest. Right in my dragoon chest. Uh, just looking at my timer on the game timing, I'm about to go over 50 hours. 
And to be honest with you, I think the last game that I played for longer than 50 hours was probably Final Fantasy 15 at launch. And you know what? I think this is the most fun playing a video game that I've had in quite a long time. Ah, oh, you're here! Everybody looks confident. Although you're going to an unknown land, there is no hesitation or wavering. Actually, it's my home village. A man of the sea isn't bothered by those little details. Anyway, you can call me a seaman. We are ready to go. We absolutely have to stop the crazy conspiracy in QAnon to annihilate the world. However, we should never give up rescuing our loved ones either. You remember Shauna? Let us be going, Dart. Remember, you've already stolen all the stardust from my vessel. The ocean awaits you! The Commodore is sound and simple, but I assume that this time it will be a long journey, won't it? Yeah. Then I think you'd better get what you need from the city and come back. It's okay. I already did a safety save. Thank you. It's okay. I am happy to help you, Dart. Besides, please, please rescue Shauna. I'll give you our promise. Of course we will. I'll save Shauna like I saved my daughter. With a punch to the face! I'll be waiting for you on the boat. Let's go. Um, if I can get to Rogue, I'm going to get that last Stardust before I time out tonight. I've been waiting for you for like 30 seconds. Are you ready? Yes, we are. Now we are leaving. Mm -hmm. Endiness. <laughs> oh, wait. Hold on. When I get out of this fight, remind me to look south. <gasps> Someone's talking. What's up, Toucan Sam? I hope you like swords to the face. Uh oh, is this a special one? Oh, snap. Miru can't miss. Are these special farming birds? Because I am doing zero damage. And if they are special ones, is there a trick to beating them? Ooh. Well, I'm gasless. Gasless as a man could be. Gasless. Oh. Uh, I got some bad news. I think this is the super boss. Ha! Not me, Rue. Um, let's try her magic. Bam, bam, bam. Usually there is, but I never do in spite of knowing that they're good for grinding. Uh, Lucy Dragon. Let's see if this does any damage. He doesn't have an element type. It would be cool to kill this guy. Ooh, spoopy. I 
haven't seen this either. This is cool. Zero. <laughs> Yay. Run away. Perfect. Well, I was trying to find birds earlier when I was doing grinding and I couldn't remember where they were. So if I can come back and find these birds. Okay, look south. <sighs> it's the edge of the world. Um. Okay, so the edge of the world right here on the bottom reminds me of the first RPG I ever played, which was Miracle Warriors for the Sega Master System. Because uh, it was just a giant map, but it had... It had borders. So when I see that border at the south, I'm just like, oh, oh, Miracle Warriors. Which I believe you can beat Miracle Warriors in like four hours. So um, if I can track down a way to play the Sega Master System on stream, I might have to uh, give that a shot someday. Because I'd be able to do it pretty quick. And Miracle Warriors has some pretty sweet music. Rogue! Whoa! <laughs> Lytheal, thank you for the follow. And I would also like to point out, you just scared the piss out of me. So, <laughs> thank you so much. Um, if you get Sega Master System, you must play Fantasy Star. Heck, yes! Because that is a... Uh, gaping hole in my um first time chat from viewer light heel yay i did something you absolutely did thank you so much for tuning in uh are you a classic jrpg fan slash legend of dragoon fan because if you are you are amongst your kind here or how about horrible voice acting i've got that for you too it's been a long time i wonder if anybody remembers me Herschel. Yeah, it's me, the guy who beat his daughter. Well, it's been maybe 20 years. I've been gone for such a long time. How have you been? You're still mayor 20 years later? Uh, Dragoon fan 100%. Yes, Lytheal. Awesome. Uh, made a retro P to play. Oh, a pie? A ret I need to make a pie. A retro pie to play it again. Awesome. Um, I'm playing it on my PlayStation TV, and that's why it looks like shit. But it's still great. I still love it. Um, it was a game changer when it came out. Fantasy Star. Yes. I um. I want to play it. Big time. So I do need to find out. There's got to be a way to make it happen. Uh, inside a pot adjacent to Martel's room. Okay, so when we find Martel's room, that's where our last Stardust is. I was looking for my runaway daughter, but I gave up on it. I can't punch her in the face while she's gone. Claire, huh? That's, I feel sorry to hear that. And who are all these people? Are they your new pupils? No, they're my friends. I'd like for you to get to know them. I'm a changed man, but we don't have time now. I have something important to talk to you about. It's super serial. All right, come up. I'll listen to you. Come on, get over here. The floor's going to give way. That sounded like a lot of tootin'. Rootin' tootin'. Uh, welcome to the club, yeah. So, I have very little PS1 games for my RetroPie. What games would this chat suggest? Um, I would suggest this setup right over here. Uh, PS1, for sure, Xenogears. Which is my personal favorite game. Um, I haven't played Suikoden 2, so people are going to go nuts. Wild Arms is another good one. Final Fantasy Tactics. If you're a JRPG fan, the PS... No, get out of here. Go to the right place. Continue. Um, PlayStation 1 was it where it was at. Boom, boom. 
Dragonling, did you ever play Xenogears? I have had a hankering for some Xenogears. And listen to that. The other day, I'm on um, a Facebook group. I'm on a Xenogears fan Facebook group. And uh, there's this dude who's just like, hey, I was at a Canadian Walmart. And there's a he bought a toy of Fei Fong Wong from Xenogears. And I'm like, what the heck? Canada just has toys from my favorite video game from like 20 years ago. I need to move to Canada. Kingsfield was underrated. That was all first person, wasn't it? Which was way ahead of its time on the PS1. Um, I've never seen people who weren't from Rogue. Tell me, what kind of place are you from? I'm, a, I'm from a place that's not built on a dock. Ah, oh, man, Xenogears is so good. There's a strong war going inside of me about which one I'm going to play after Dragoon is done. And, um... Xeno, it's one of those things where it's like, Xenogears is my favorite, so obviously I'd want to play that next. But then also, it's like I've, I've got it kind of like built up in the back of my mind that if it isn't awesome, or, or somehow I might not do it justice, it, it's a weird thing. I don't know. It's a weird thing. But Xenogears is so good. Never played the weed is plus for most people. Oh. Oh. Hello, do you have any daughters I can punch? Hasn't changed a bit, huh? No kidding. We still have the mayor, same mayor after 20 years. This village is forgotten. We rarely have visitors from the continent. All we do is fish and sleep and fish and sleep and sleep and fish. Practice and sleep and practice and sleep and sleep and practice. That's about it. Nothing has changed since Hashel left the village. Say, what's cooking? You came all the way here. Must be something important, huh? Pretty weird that you have a nice colloquialism here on this little island, but yeah, to be honest, we are looking for the way to the ancient cities. Ancient cities? What the heck are they? Those were the towns where the long gone Wingleys lived. Do you know anything about them? Wingleys, what on earth are they? You lost me. You couldn't know. Let me explain. I'll retell the whole story of the game. Next PS1 game has to be the amazing virtual sea monkeys. <laughs> I didn't even know there was that. Um, I would like to find Urghais. That'd be a cool PS1 game to play for like a one-off. Um... Fear Effect, the original Fear Effect, that would be a cool cool one to play on stream, too. As it turns out, uh, the PS1 was a pretty sweet system. Yeah, it's terrible, you're kidding? I don't know, man. Terrible games seem to do well on Twitch. Um, Tecmo's Deception is one of my favorite. Oh, Deception. Is Deception, um, is that the game where you're, like, setting up the traps? You're, you're like building a trap funhouse for people to, am I thinking right, right or wrong? I don't know. I could be right. A world crisis. That's a pretty awful thing then, but we don't care here on our dock. That's why we're in a hurry. Are there any old ruins around here? Things that humans couldn't make. How about this? There's a stick rising out from the sea. Could it be related? Oh, that thing in the sea, indeed, humans couldn't have made it. Humans could never make a stick on their own. Where is that? It's in the middle of the sea, but you can't get close by boat, because there's an awful whirlpool. But you can see it clearly from the clifftop. Well... It suddenly came up, so I wouldn't have known about it. Shall we try? Hope it's the one you folks want to go to. Thanks, buddy. Um, I need to find... Oh, I thought I had it. Uh, where's lucky number 50? Uh, 
Yes, you chose either banish or release Satan. <laughs> yeah, I, um, I think Game Informer, back when Dan Reichert was there, I think they did a uh, War God's Calling. All the War God stuff is cool, right? Um, I think they played through it. It was like Deception 4. It was one way later in the series. Automatic addition, half damage and SP. Oh, that's not nearly as good as the what she have ultimate war god so I don't yeah I don't, I don't I don't need half damage it wouldn't be bad for like uh, grinding up like Hashel's additions when I choose to do that at some point in time just to get the automatic ones in uh no this is not where I want to go. What's some other good PS1 games? The first couple PS1 games that I had, I had Frogger, uh, which I recently went back and watched like um, a uh, Martell. Martell, wait, no, Martell, we know Martell. Martell. That's the people who saved me and Rose. You folks. You're from this village too, Martel. Martel, now I remember. When I left the village, you were still little. I didn't recognize you. Is she sick? How is she? Not good, but it should be okay with this stardust. Oh, give me your stardust. Now, I'm starting. I need 50! Ah, oh, don't waste my 50th Stardust on trying to heal your child. Man. I beg you, folks. Save Lil from her illness. Well, there goes that. <gasps> Lil. Lil Smokey. I feel refreshed. I feel refreshed? Like before I got sick. Lil Smokey. Lil Smoke. Oh, I cannot breathe. I have no idea how he got poisoned. So let's get out of here. But well, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. Uh... <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. uh, so the first PS1 game I had was Frogger and Two Extreme, which Frogger was a lot of fun for what it was. Look, look, I'm so much better. Get it, get it, get it, get it. It said some barrels outside of her hut. Uh, is it here? Is this it? Uh, this is a time for celebration! Ma. And looky there! All 50 Stardust, baby! Super boss, here I come! After a large amount of grinding. Um, around what level can I take on, Faust? Little Smokey, are you dead again? Martel, here. Are you sure? Thank you very much then. Gave Sardas six. <gasps> Wasn't the kid just okay? What happened? It reminds me. This is. The 50th Stardust. I made it. I made it. I collected all the Stardust in the world. You collected them? Come on, Martel. Don't... Don't be a true government employee and take all the credit for somebody else's work. Martel, make a wish quick. <coughs> I wish happiness for my daughter. 
I wish a bright future for my daughter. Only one wish per 50 Stardust. I wish to bring Goku back from the dead. Little Smokey? I had a strange dream that like 30 seconds ago I was fine and walking around. There was a woman. She said, I'll give you happiness. It was in Vegas. I, she was pouring me drinks. I didn't have a good feeling about it, so I left. Isn't it strange? I'm already happy now. I got my ma, my baby brother. That's happy enough, isn't it? Do you see your baby brother in this room somewhere? I guess you're right. Ma, I cannot breathe. Choke him out. Oops, sorry. I already forgot what Martel's voice was. Thanks to you, I only had Lil Smokey. <laughs> Not only has Lil Smokey found happiness, but I have too. In return for your favor, take this. I feel some special power from this stone. A really special one. Super special. It might be useful for your journey. Just take it. Ah, <sighs> got it, baby. Uh, thanks a million. I won't forget about you ever. I'm gonna go kill a super boss. Wait, the baby, the baby brother's on Martel's back. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Cool. I was the crazy one in that scenario. All right. We got the 50th Stardust. I don't have to worry about that anymore. I can completely close this um, walkthrough that I had. And on Thursday night at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, we will uh, go to the stick in the water <laughs> that this guy's talking about. 